What's up all my Ewoks, Spools, Droids, and Wookiees? It's Anna, also as at Star Wars Girl. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of Tales of the Jedi Episode 3. But guys, before I get into that, my channel is Hardcore Shadow Band here on YouTube. So every single like, share, comment really, really helps out my channel fighting the pesky YouTube algorithms. Also, if you guys haven't yet and you want to, maybe take a minute, smash that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. Make sure that that bell is set to all. That way you actually get notifications of when I post videos and when I do live streams. And uh, that's out of the way. Let's get on to the review. All right, guys, so to get into episode three, it is called Choices, and it revolves around the dynamic between Dooku before he went off and joined the Sith and Sidious and when he was still part of the Jedi Council, and him and Mace Windu going to go get the body of a Jedi who got killed in the line of duty. Dooku wants to investigate. Mace is like, nah, uh, that's not part of our job description, and of course, Dooku has other plans. Now, I actually enjoyed this out of all of the episodes I've watched so far, and I've only seen three. The way I'm reviewing this series is I'm reviewing it as I go, kind of as if this wasn't a binge format because they released every episode at once. I'm going through and, you know, reviewing as I watch them. And then after I'm done watching all of these episodes, I'll do one video kind of breaking down and going through all of it together but right now only seeing three episodes I am noticing a pattern it's at least from what I've seen I haven't looked up any spoilers or anything like that considering we already know what happens to all of these characters it's not going to be too much to spoil but it seems like what they're doing is showing the progression of Dooku's journey to him leaving the Jedi Council and I think that's going to be the same thing with Ahsoka they're showing like her origins even though they kind of changed things so I mean, it's Dave Filoni. He doesn't stick to the original EU, which we all know if you know anything about Dave Filoni and all that fun stuff. Um, but so, of course, this is Dave Filoni's thing, so he's going to do his thing. But I've said this before. I am a huge Christopher Lee fan. I absolutely adore Christopher Lee. And so whenever I see, you know, even though this obviously isn't him, but this is his character. Like, let, let's be honest about this, right? Like, Count Dooku is Christopher Lee's character. So even though it's not him, I do have a fondness for that character. And that's completely because of my bias, the fact that I love Christopher Lee so much. So I enjoy or as far as this episode, because I know where it's going, there's a lot of foreshadowing in what happens to Dooku, and especially since you do know what happens with Dooku, and seeing all of the little pieces, and whenever he gets like that, ah, idea. I know it does change things, but again, I have a little bit of a bias, and they haven't done anything reprehensible yet, or... Uh, I, I say yet, you know, italicize in bold underline because uh, I have a feeling that that might happen. It, it's it, it, it sucks, uh, you know, because like whenever it's Disney, especially it's like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You tease us like they teased us with Luke Skywalker. And then the next movie, they had him throw his lightsaber over his shoulder. So it's like, yeah, eh, I know. I know not to get like my hopes up. But that being said, overall, out of all three episodes that I've watched so far, this was the most enjoyable. I like the dynamic between Dooku and Windu. So that being said, let's talk about this episode. So like I said, they are going to go get uh, a Jedi's body that was on this planet. And Dooku wants to investigate and Mace is like, no, that's not part of our job. So once they get to the planet, they uh, meet, you guys can see in the background, the uh, two guards, which will be important. One of them has like different colored eyes. And I don't know if one of his eyes are blinded because he's got a brown one and a blue one. But it look, the way that they make both of his eyes move, it seems like he can see out of both of them. So I was like, yeah, maybe he just has two different colored eyes. But so here you guys see the, the senator uh, who acts and it seems like a lot of the people that I have to interact with on Twitter uh, or they come onto my timeline and they like to interact with me and call me all kinds of names and then they claim to be a male feminist so that that was just the vibe that I got from him As, even like the way he talked in his mannerisms I'm like ah you remind me of the Twitter folk but so he's kind of giving them their story that they 
that she died defending him and that they were like ambushed and whatnot. And Dooku's not buying it. Mace isn't really buying it. But at the same time, he's like, this isn't part of our job. And, you know, the Senate is going to decide. And, you know, we are literally just here to pick up the body, Dooku. Like, we're not part, we're not an investigation team, basically. But Dooku insists. And so they're like, well, maybe we can find out about the killer if we go to the scene of the crime. So they do. They show up at the scene of the crime and immediately Dooku notice stuff that's off because I mean, come on, these are Jedi and they even have a little discussion before they go there, which they're like, he's lying. He is 100% lying. There is something up. Mace knows it. Dooku knows it. So they're like, all right, we're going to go see what's going on. And then they see the blaster bolts in the trees and then they're looking at the trees and then you can see right here, they're about to turn and look back. What the heck? Sorry about that. I don't know what the heck is going on. Um, but so they turn from the trees and they look back at the ship and they notice that there's no, you know, blaster bolts on the ship. Because if it, the Jedi got killed when they were leaving the ship, uh, you know, and they got surrounded and ambushed and they're like, how many people were shooting at you? Sinner's like, oh, I don't know. It all happened so fast. And like, well, if they were if she got shot coming off of the ship, there would be blaster bolts on your ship. But instead, the the way that the trees are it looks like she got shot from behind you motherfuckers killed her and they did senator runs at them and is like oh my god no it was the guards the guards killed her i didn't have anything to do with it they're rebels and big lightsaber battle ensues all the guards start shooting at the jedi and they have all these droids come out we get to see count dooku and mace work together in action to fight off these droids and these guards the senator gets shot in the back by one of the guards and Dooku and Mace take out everyone until only two of the guards are left. The younger guard, which I think is supposed to be the other guy with the two different colored eyes, Sun, uh, shoots at Mace and it fires back at him and it kills him. And then... Uh, the guy with the two different colored eyes goes on this, like, little speech about how, you know, their, their senator was basically a bad guy. And what I'm noticing, based on just, like, the last episode, is all of the senators in Dooku's episodes are pieces of shit. <laughs> That's basically what it is. The last episode, the guy was, like, living in the laps of luxury while all of his planet was, like, in complete absolute poverty and, like, couldn't have, like, they had no food. Everyone was starving. It was all gray and disgusting and dirty and they had no money for anything and everyone was miserable and just haggard. And on this planet, everything looks nice. But according to the guard dude, the senator basically just became a senator to climb up the the ladder. And he's pretty, and they're like, oh, well, he's fat. And I'm like, he's not that fat. I mean, we've had Jabba the Hutt in Star Wars. I mean, this dude isn't really that fat, but he's saying, like, that he's gorging himself on stuff and all, all of that. And He's going on and on about how they need, like, better representation and that that guy was a bad example for their planet. And all the while, Dooku's sitting there like, huh, this guy's making some points. And just in the last episode, Dooku was like, huh, the rebels are making some points. Foreshadowing? I think so. And so they're like, all right, well, we're arresting you. So that that's that you're getting arrested and both Mace and Duke are like, yeah, we feel for you that like shit's bad. But I mean, killing a Jedi is fucking wrong. Like you should have talked to her and, you know, told her your point of view. She's a Jedi. She would have been understanding. And he's like, no, the Jedi, the Jedi will just do what the Senate tells them. You guys don't actually try to help people. You guys are the lap dogs for the Senate. You guys can't actually help us. And not only that, you guys won't help us. You only do what the Senate tells you to. And Duke goes over there like, huh, you have a point. Foreshadowing? I think so. But then... After Dooku's done talking to him in his cell, they arrive on Coruscant back to the Jedi Temple and they have the body of the fallen Jedi and they do this whole funeral and Yoda's there and uh, all of the Jedi are there. And then after the funeral, Dooku is waiting for Mace and he asks him if he can talk to him and he basically finds out that Mace is taking over the fallen Jedi. He's taking over her seat on the council and has now been, you know, made a member of the Jedi Council and obviously Dooku's fucking pissed about this and he's like you knew you knew going into this and Mace is like yo homeboy I didn't know you and I were both assigned to this mission 
I followed the rules and you didn't. And he even said this before they left to get to Coruscant. Mace was like, yo, like, you're going to have to tell them that you didn't follow the rules, that you broke the rules. And like your method was to attack the guards. Like the second that you realized that they were all lying to you, you, you know, ignited your lightsaber. I didn't. You have, you know, unusual methods. And... This actually kind of mirrors the shit with Anakin. I think that they're 100% doing this on purpose, but they're showing how Dooku didn't follow the rules and now he's pissed that he's not on the council. And which is funny because Qui-Gon like didn't give two shits if he was on the council or not. He's like, "Yeah, I'm going to He's like, "I'm either going to do it with like with your guys' support or I'm going to do it without your support anyway. Like, I, I feel like Qui-Gon was, like, the most chill when it came to that. He's like, I don't care if I'm on the council. Less responsibility than for me. I'm going to do what I'm going to do kind of thing. Whereas Dooku is resentful just like Anakin, and he's even having that conversation about it. And so I'm just like, it's really on the nose. And, like, this little hint between them. And Mace, I feel like, is a lot. He says something about ego a little bit earlier in the episode. And I'm just like, I don't know, man. I think you do kind of have a little bit of an ego. So kind of rubbing that in Dooku's face. I'm like, maybe that's a little bit of a foreshadowing on him. Because I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think that that is a fault that Mace does have. Is that he does let his ego get in the way sometimes. Especially in his decision making. Uh, at least in my opinion, from my perspective of the character. But so Dooku's pissed because, one, he's agreeing so far with all of the, the rebels in each episode. Even though there's only two episodes, he's agreed with them. And now he's not going to be on the council, even though he got the results. He found out who killed the Jedi. So he's starting to get salty. He's starting to get super salty. And after that guy, you know, planting seeds in his head about how the Jedi are basically just the lap dogs of the Senate. Foreshadowing. Da, 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 da. And that was episode three. Got some more left to review. But guys, that's, you know, all I kind of have for episode three. That was the breakdown and the review and the plot of episode three. Like I said, out of all three, this is the most enjoyable in my opinion and I think again that has 100% to do with the fact that I absolutely adore Christopher Lee and Count Dooku is his character so seeing like the build up to him leaving the Jedi Order uh, I'm wondering if they're going to bring Sidious into this and have him kind of do the exact same thing that he did with Anakin which is here's my opinion from a different point of view kind of thing. And if I know Dave Filoni, and I think I do, uh, it's going to be right on the nose like this. There, there's there's absolutely no subtlety <laughs> anymore I feel like in the art of storytelling. And maybe that's just because they assume people are like too dumb to get it, which I understand. I, I've been on Twitter long enough. Like if, if you don't like put explicitly in, in intense detail, things go over people he people's heads because people are too freaking stupid nowadays to understand the art of subtlety. So uh, I get it. It's right on the nose. Ha 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 ha. But heck, even back when I I was watching the Clone Wars that was a lot more subtle but then again it wasn't Dave Filoni writing every single episode and if you guys haven't yet watched the Clone Wars I would highly recommend the episodes that Katie Lucas George Lucas's daughter wrote because those are some of the best episodes she is absolutely fantastic and they should really get her to come in and write Star Wars because she is from what I've seen of her is actually really good at what she does and oh my god the art of subtlety isn't actually lost with her it's almost as if she's got a great consultant <clears throat> her father but anyways everyone that's my two thoughts about episode three of tales of the jedi episode choices let me know what you think about all of this down below in the comment section if you guys like this video please smash the like button if you didn't that's okay too thank you so much for watching this far through let me know if you guys are even watching these episodes or if you're just watching my reviews or you know maybe if you're doing both let me know what you think about all of that down below in the comment section i'm interested to hear your guys's thoughts and theories but guys with that being said thank you so much and once again my channel is hardcore shadow band here on youtube so every single like share comment really really helps out my channel fighting the pesky youtube algorithms and if you guys haven't yet Yet, and you like my you like my channel you like my content maybe take a minute smash the subscribe button ring that bell for notifications make sure that that bell is set to all that we actually get notifications when i post videos and when i do live streams and that that's out of the way everyone i hope you guys all have a great rest of your day morning evening afternoon wherever you are in the world and may the force be with you because we are really 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 going to need it bye everyone 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you so much again for supporting my channel and my content. And if you guys would like to support me further, my cosplay calendar, my gamer edition cosplay calendar is live still now on Indiegogo for a limited time only. We were very, very successful in the campaign and we are currently in in demand. In demand is only going to be up for a limited time only. So be sure to go check it out before we take this down. And guys, once again, thank you so much for this. If you guys want to go and back this campaign the link is down below in the description of this video and make sure that you guys check it regularly because i do add updates on there and more photos are coming soon so thank you guys and last but not least, guys, I have a Twitch that I am trying to go. I am at 5.7K followers right now, and I'm trying to get to 10,000 by the end of the year. So if you guys haven't gone and followed me over on Twitch, go and do so now. The link is in the description of this video. I play a lot of games on here like Elden Ring and KOTOR, so go check it out if you haven't already. And that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.